Welcome everyone to the last moments of being a child, or being stuck as a child. Welcome to the Temple of Time right here. You see this building across a few games, but this is where it originated. Love this place. It has such a cool soundtrack. So, we have the three spiritual stones. And we're gonna place them there. No, we're gonna play the Song of Time. Facing it. There we go. Uh, those notes were the same as the guys singing back there. Crazy. So, there is quite a few uh, cutscenes uh, throughout this section. And sadly, I will have to skip them. Basically what happens... And I'll, I'll get there, actually. I don't want to spoil it for those who haven't seen it somehow. So these are the three spiritual stones that we've gathered throughout this series. All 11 episodes. I guess 10. We got the... The engagement one on the 10th episode. Ooh. I'm excited. So what we just did was open up the last... The only portal to the sacred realm, which we'll see is a good thing or a bad thing soon. Nenny, isn't that? Bam! The Master Sword. Oh, yeah. Have one of those babies in my room. Let's pick it up! Alright, so I'll have to meet you on the other side of these cutscenes! Goodbye! Super Smash Brothers? Probably no. This is chic. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm, 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 will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in a deep forest, one on a high mountain. One under a vast lake. <clears throat> one within the house of the dead. One of the coolest ones. One inside the goddess of the sand. But, you know, that one has the best song, so. Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return to the light of peace to the world. So she's blocking where we could put the sword back up to return to a child. So we have to beat the forest dungeon, the forest temple to even become a child again. But here we are! New Link! My favorite... This is something interesting, I guess, if you really care. But this is my favorite rendition of Link ever. He looks incredible. I know he's low polygon, but... I don't care. He looks cool. Anyway, so we are going to head to Kakariko Village to obtain the hookshot. Oh, something I never noticed before. Kakariko Village's song is different. It's it's a different instrument. Huh. Also, something cool. I'm not going to be able to actually use this because I'm on a 3 hour challenge, but as an adult, you can get up here, and if you line yourself up, you can totally glitch through that and get behind here. Get a piece of heart. It's pretty neat. I forgot, what's that real way you're supposed to, I think you're supposed to use a long shot to get up here. I don't really care. That's how I do it. 
Not really sure where I picked that up, but I did somewhere. So we're actually gonna learn the Song of Storms, one of my favorite songs in this game. What? You've got an ocarina? What the heck? That reminds me of that time seven years ago. Back then a mean kid came here and played a strange song and messed up this windmill. So something very interesting about this song is... It doesn't really have an origin. Because the way we learn that song is he says, I'll never forget that song that kid played for me seven years ago. Well, when we turn back into a child, we come play this for him, and then that's how we're supposed to get into the well. Um, even though I already did that, because we cheated. <laughs> um, but that's how he knows a song, and we learned it from him. So where did the song come from? In Majora's Mask, you do find the... Uh, or you do learn that song from Sharp. I think it's, it might be flat. It's one of the two. Um, the Composer Brothers, the ones we read the poem from. And you... Actually, I think you can, you can find them here. Let's see which one it is. So this is Sharp. So it was flat. You learned the song from flat. Pull out the graveyard. Huh. Um... Yeah, you learned it from him, and then you use it for the game. But you learn that after this game's events take place. So it's it's interesting. That song really doesn't have an origin, but it still exists. It's kind of a paradox. I went to the wrong one. Shoot. <laughs> okay, so this is where we get the hook shot. Um, which we need to, not only to beat the game, but it actually does give us a way of damaging enemies again, because right now we have bombs, because we can't use the slingshot or the boomerang as an adult, because the game said so. So once we get this, we'll have a way to damage enemies, and then we'll go to the forest temple and get the bow, which will give us a ground attack, which will give us a reliable way of damaging enemies. Um, and I love the bow. The bow and arrow is one of my favorite items in, like, every Zelda game ever. Fun fact, I do archery. Uh, I started recently, and I absolutely love it. It's one of the coolest feelings. Um, maybe I'll do something with that on this channel. Maybe not, but I don't know. I love archery. It's been super, super fun so far. Um, and I highly recommend it. Anyway, we did it. First try. We had some troubles with the fire, but now we have the hookshot. This is one of the coolest items in Zelda as well. Uh, so sad they didn't use it in Breath of the Wild. I think it could have been absolutely amazing in that game because of how vertical everything is. Um, but we have it here. Uh, it's in a lot of Zelda games. It's in Twilight Princess, it's in Majora's Mask, it's in Wind Waker, it's in Smash Brothers. Um, it's pretty, pretty cool. Very deadly. Go watch the game theory on why this thing could easily kill you the first time you use it. Um, love that video. It was super fascinating. Uh, but... Uh, we're gonna go to the forest now. <laughs> Actually, before we go, I do want to tell you guys a little secret. Oh, Maybe I'm just a big liar. Hold on. Okay, those are, okay. So, there actually is a way to get up there with just the hookshot. Boom. First try. So yeah, you can get up here if you'd like without having to go through all that. It's kind of redundant because you just got the hookshot from where you can exit and use the hookshot you have to use it, so 
It's after the area. It's just kind of fun if you want to use that. Alright, here we are back at the Lost Woods. As an adult. There were two Skull Kids down there. Oh my gosh! What? <gasps> I've never seen that before. That's so interesting, actually. They all have masks. Huh. Alright, here's Mido the Blockade once more. We gotta prove... Prove that we are friends with Saria, so... This song comes into play again. Saria plays that song all the time. Do you know Saria? That song, Saria taught that only to her best friend. It's not at all what that said. Okay, I trust you. When I see you, I don't know why, but I remember him. Some mortal enemy, or just some guy they thought died. Which, honestly, fair enough. I just kind of left. Alright, so we're back at one of these sections where we have to look around the walls. Because there's these giant... I don't even know what these guys are. I don't know their name. Are, are they Moblins? Oh my gosh, are these guys Moblins? Okay, I, I haven't even shown them on screen yet. Because Navi won't shut up! Okay. So these guys... What are they? I can't Z-target them, I don't think. Yeah. Oh! Oh, jeez! What just happened? Um, that scared the crap out of me. Why did I... Okay, usually when you get hit by those guys, you get, like, pushed back all the way to the puddle there. I don't know why I got out. That was just... That made me jump so hard. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is hit him with the hook shot. But holy crap. Okay, well... There it is. Oh dear. See that's that's what happens, is it it pulls you. Got him. Got him. Oh, that was a nice jump. Okay. I believe I can Z-target that guy, so I'm gonna check what his name is. What? Okay, that was dumb. Okay, I can't Z-target this guy, I totally lied. Oh. I... Okay, well that works. Okay. What? I don't understand. Okay, we killed him. I'm gonna call him a Moblin. I'm not a thousand percent sure if he is or not. Uh, it looks like one, and that's all I got. Here's another kind of cutscene. I'm gonna show it, though, because it's cool. I like chic stuff because songs, I like music. <laughs> but I, I absolutely love these songs. I like how they resolve, usually. There's a resolution. Anyway. I believe I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, we will go into the dungeon next time. And thank you so much for joining. I'm sorry if I was rambling a little too much in this video. I like talking. And, <laughs> and I've played this game so many times that I have to entertain myself. So thank you for watching. See you next time.